35 News starts now with a weather alert. Strong storms rolling through central Florida. Video shows heavy rain coming down in DeLand. This is a live look from the Fox 35 Storm Team Thunder Truck of the damage caused by all that rain. Trees falling over, knocking out power to people in Volusia County. One tree actually crashing down right onto a home in DeLand. Crews are on the scene right now cleaning up that mess and trying to restore power in the area. Fox 35's Connor Hansen begins our live team coverage with a look at the damage this evening. Connor. Well, John, take a look at this tree branches covering up most of the front of this house. And if you look up, you can actually see where the tree snapped and this branch came from coming crashing down on this roof, jolting the couple inside. You can even see where the tree splintered on impact along with some of the roof's trim. Now we're told windows were shattered and photos were knocked off shelves. That branch going through the rafters into the attic. Water from that storm leaking through into the living room. The woman living here visibly shaken by the limb crashing down. She says she'll be finding somewhere else to stay tonight. Yeah, we were sitting inside watching a movie and um, we it was just a gust of wind that came through. We thought it was a tornado. I stood up. My husband started yelling for me to get down, but um, then we realized after it was all said and done because the whole house shook. Now that's not the only damage we saw. Take a look at this close call down the street. The homeowner says this branch inches from her home when it fell on her driveway, luckily right after she moved her truck. Now for now, the woman who lives here tells us they'll just be working on covering up these holes while they try to get some out, someone out here to take a look at the roof. We're also told this entire block does not have power. Reporting live in DeLand, Connor Hansen, Fox 35 News. Thanks, Connor, and that is just a taste of what we could see tomorrow, which is why tomorrow will be a Fox 35 storm alert day. Meteorologist Brooks Garner continues our live team coverage tonight. So Brooks, yep. the next few days could be a wild weather ride. Indeed, Luann and John, just looking at the latest data for tomorrow, for Friday and for Saturday. We're declaring the Fox 35 storm alert days. We've got a very active pattern ahead. Severe thunderstorms, a possibility, even a chance for an isolated tornado. So we're on weather watch. You should be too and stay with the Fox 35 storm team for the latest as we get going with this very busy week. You see, we've got a cold front coming our way and that'll put an end to these upper 80s and low 90s and return to the winter weather after all it's still winter until March 20th that arriving on Sunday a big cold blast with 30s for lows and so as that process of transition happens we're going to have some damaging wind gusts with thunderstorms a moderate to high chance a chance for some flash flooding that's measurable and a chance for tornadoes that's slight but definitely something that is in existence so as of now Fox 35 storm tracker very busy radar as you head up toward the big bend we've zoomed in this is Lake City at I-75 and I-10 a severe thunderstorm warning now just expiring for Lafayette County but just a lot of heavy rain up this way toward the Chiefland area as you head farther south obviously it's been a storm day today across central Florida and we're still seeing some downpours in Umatilla, some thunderstorms right along the St. Johns River that's heading into Volusia County. Storms at Flagler Beach right now, not severe, but we have had some gusty winds and some reports of large tree limbs falling on power lines in the DeLand area. More storms developing to the south. We'll track these in further detail coming up.